Hi everyone, my name is Maria Gomez, also known as Big Apple Beauty on Instagram and YouTube. And today we are going to be recreating the yoga skin makeup look as created by makeup artist Sarah Hill. This look differs from the glass skin trend in that it enhances the skin's natural appearance while adding a little bit of glow and a little bit of coverage as well. So I'm super excited to create this look using some of my favorite Wander Beauty products. So let's get right into it. So first, to prep the skin, I'm gonna use the Glow Ahead Face Oil and I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. It's super important to make sure that your face is really prepped, even, and smooth so that the rest of your makeup just glides on and looks like skin. Next, on my T-zone, I'm going to use a Smooth Sealing Perfecting Primer. This step is super important, especially if you find that you have more oily skin, but do want to try this trend out as well. I love how she really embraces the use of your hands to work the products in because I really think that using your hand achieves a more natural finish. And to be honest, if you're on the go, who has time for brushes? I also like to work it on the sides of my nose because I do find that I get a little bit of texture and pores in that area. So I'm just gonna smooth it over that area. So for the next step, we're basically gonna be creating our own little yoga skin potion. I'm gonna use the Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation, the Glow Ahead Face Oil, and the Glotion, and kind of make my own little glow potion, if you will. I'm gonna use the palm of my clean hand and just deposit a little bit of a foundation. Remember that this trend is more about making the skin look healthy and glowing, so you don't want to go too crazy with foundation. To add a little bit of shimmer and radiance, I'm going to use the Glotion as well and just put a little bit. And lastly, I'm going to add a little bit more of the face oil. You want to make sure that everything is worked nicely into each other, so just using the other hand, I'm going to go ahead and combine all these products together. and start smoothing it all over the face. I do think I would want a second layer, so I'm gonna let this set for a little bit and I'm gonna go in with the second layer. layer I'm just really concentrating it in the areas that have a little bit more hyperpigmentation and that I do want a little bit more coverage on. And I'm also going to blend it down the neck as well. I definitely do see the skin a little bit more even. It's super healthy. It looks kind of like I got a facial um, and I really, really like it. I do see that some spots are still kind of coming through, but that is all part of the look, I think. It's kind of still making your skin look like what it looks like without makeup, but just a little bit more enhanced. So as I mentioned, there are still some spots that are coming through, but I'm not gonna add a whole layer of foundation just to cover them up. I'm gonna use the Duelist Concealer and just sort it wherever I need it. I think it's super important with this look to only apply concealer where you need it, which is why I really love this concealer, especially the dope applicator. It's so precise and it gets to the small areas that you need them to get in. To add color back into the face, I'm gonna use the On The Glow Blush. I'm gonna warm it onto the fingertips just so we can really get the product going. And dab a little bit on the cheeks. I think the fact that we use oil throughout the skin prep and for the foundation, or mix in with the foundation, really helps all the other products glide on so easily. And whatever's left on the fingers, I'm going to glide over the bridge of the nose. 
Since this look is not super eyeshadow heavy and it's more cream and liquid based, we're not gonna go too crazy for eyeshadow, but I do still wanna add some more definition into the eyes. So to do that, I'm gonna use the On The Glow bronzer just to define the area a little bit more. Pop it on the outer V of the eye. I'm also gonna glide a little bit more towards the inner corner of the eye. I think the trick to this look is using as minimal powder as possible to achieve that glowy skin look. Next, for more targeted highlight and glow, I'm gonna use the Glotion on the high points of my face. So although we have a very glowy complexion, we still want to amp up the highlighter and glowiness with a little bit more of targeted highlighter. If you do want to wear this look out for the spring and summertime, I do suggest mattifying it a little bit, especially in the T-zone, so it doesn't get overly oily throughout the day. You definitely want to keep the outer portion of your face super glowy and unpowdered. So I'm gonna do a glossy lid for this look because I feel like it would be a perfect pairing. To do that, I'm gonna use the Beach Balm in the shade Siesta. It's a nice overall clear balm that would be perfect in the eye area. I'm gonna focus it on the inner part of the lid just to kind of catch the light whenever I turn my face. And I'm also gonna apply a light layer on the lips to nourish and keep the lips hydrated. And you can't forget your lashes, so I'm gonna apply a light layer of unlashed mascara. This is seriously one of my favorite mascaras for just very, very long lashes. finished yoga skin look. I really hope you guys enjoyed my take on it using some of my favorite Wander Beauty multitaskers. If you would like to get your hands on any of the products I used, make sure to check out wanderbeauty.com. And if you want to check me out, make sure to look me up on Instagram and YouTube at Big Apple Beauty.